Uh, what you see right now, that is two trips. You know, we've had snow already, but it just is not sticking for whatever reason. So the main part was to get something on the ground, get it somewhat level, and uh, I can start building on top of that. So a few days ago, I uploaded a video about my cabin getting ransacked. So I thought I'd share a story on why I built a cabin. You know, I think all of us would love to have a cabin out in the woods. I love wood stoves, cooking, cutting up firewood. I also like being alone. And so in September of 2021, I noticed all this lumber getting thrown away. It was a couple of hundred pieces of two by six. Uh, they were between three and four feet long and they had staples in them and nylon banding on them and the people didn't want to take all that off so they were just going to toss it so i asked if i could have it and i loaded up uh, two trips in my station wagon and brought it all home peeled all the staples off the nylon banding and i realized i had enough wood that i could build a cabin so my plan was to wait till the spring, the following year, and to start building it. And at that time, my mom was my number one priority. She had a stroke in 2012, which left her with mental and physical disabilities, and she needed 24-hour care. So this is where I'm at so far. Ran out of lumber. I'm working on getting this roof on. I have a temporary pole there just for support because this is far from being reinforced. I just ran into the lumber, but I want to get the roof on and tarped off. We're supposed to get snow. Well, I decided to make a real quick emergency trip out to my new cabin site. Just brutal weather today. And even though she lived in the hospital, I was her caregiver for nine years. I took her out every single week, paid her bills, picked up her prescriptions. All right, back out at my cabin, doing some work. I'm trying to get this floor in today. Unfortunately, in October of 2021, my mom suddenly passed away, which left me absolutely devastated. I was so depressed. It was the most depressing time in my life because my mom was my best friend. So I decided at that time to go ahead and start building this cabin. I knew that it was going to keep my mind occupied. So that's where I'm at for today. Still got a long ways to go. I also had three hernias and a permanent back injury, which I still have today which left me uh, only able to lift a certain amount of weights.
Uh, winter came late, so I, I was able to get the floor in. And I started hauling small bundles of lumber out to my uh, cabin site. I was only able to take maybe six or eight boards at a time. And I mostly dropped them off at my halfway point to the cabin. And once I had a huge pile of lumber, I then moved uh, the lumber from the halfway point to my cabin site and began building. So I have a couple more boards to install on the top, something I didn't do last time. I brought out three windows and tomorrow I'm going to install the windows and my wood stove. So these windows were actually getting thrown away and I taped them together, put cardboard in between them to protect them and made this handle and it actually wasn't too bad to carry it out here. Uh, it was a lot of work. It took me eight months to complete this cabin. Not only the cabin, but all the, you know, the wood stove, the bed, pots and pans, tools, all that.
I'll just give you a quick update when I got done. I have my wood stove in. I still need to level it and I'm, I want to insulate the inside with clay. Otherwise, it's going to be way too hot for this small space. I have my windows kind of in place, but I cut some boards short. And now I need to pick up a few more if I want to be able to finish this. This window is all done. I like it because it's nice and low. And I got my stove pipe all done. So this cabin is quite small. It's only eight by eight feet. I think most people could probably build it in a weekend or two. But with my back injury and my three hernias, I'm kind of glad that it took me eight months. It really helped with the grieving process. Uh, it kept my mind occupied and it kept me busy. So this cabin really means a lot to me and I'm really disappointed that someone started breaking into it. Uh, I know they're gonna keep coming back I just wish they would just leave it alone, forget they found it, and let me enjoy my time out there. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.